Oktoberfest Virtual Cemetery Tour. Welcome to Orangeburg and welcome to our Oktoberfest Virtual Cemetery Tour. This is a tour of eight historical cemeteries located within the city limits of Orangeburg. A printout of this tour can be found on our website at www.ogsgs.org. Settlers comprised of mostly Swiss and German immigrants began arriving in 1735. They established a settlement on the North Edisto River called Orangeburg. Many of them and their descendants are buried in the cemeteries of the city, and perhaps some of your ancestors too. Memorial Park Cemetery, located at 1590 Broughton Street, was incorporated in November of 1933. Mr. H. Clifton Harley was the first president. James M. Green, vice president, and Irwin S. Harley, secretary treasurer. The present owner is the A.J. Hutto family. Within the cemetery are the remains found in the old Rickenbaker burial ground. The Rickenbaker homestead was located adjacent to Memorial Park Cemetery. It is the only burial ground known on the old Rickenbaker plantation and it is most certainly where Anna Burgey and Katerina Till were buried. It was probably also the final resting place for Heinrich Rickenbaker, Heine Rickenbaker, and Anna Till, although there is no documentation for where these three were buried. In the early 1950s, due to a developing subdivision, the lot containing the burial ground was sold. All graves and markers that could be found were moved to plot A436 in Memorial Park. All markers found were dated 1805 or later. After 200 years, there was little evidence of earlier burials. Notable people buried here. Lieutenant Robert L. Duncan and crew, who lost their lives on a flight mission over Germany on March 9, 1945 the 335th Squadron, 95th Bombardment Group. Marshal Burns Williams was a member of the State House of Representatives, 1947 to 1952, and a member of the State Senate, 1953 to 1995, and died in 1995. 712A6. Hampton Pitts Fulmer a farmer, member of the South Carolina State House of Representatives from 1917 to 1920. He was a U.S. representative from South Carolina, 1921 to 1944, the 7th District, 1921 to 1933, and the 2nd District, 1933 to 1944, and he died in office, 1944. The Orangeburg Cemetery, located by the corner of Windsor and Bull Streets, was chartered on April 5, 1889 by the Orangeburg Cemetery Association to meet the needs of residents of African American descent. It is the oldest non-church affiliated private cemetery founded for African Americans in Orangeburg County. Management of the cemetery was transferred to the city in 1994 and is maintained by the City Parks and Recreation Department since then. The cemetery is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Notable people buried here. Robert Nelson Cornelius Nix, Sr., 1905 to 1987. He was born in Orangeburg, but lived in Pennsylvania. He served as delegate to the Democratic National Convention from Pennsylvania in 1956 and 1964. He was a candidate for presidential elector for Pennsylvania, 1956. And he was a U.S. representative from Pennsylvania from 1958 to 1979, fourth district, 1958 to 1963, and second district, 1963 to 1979. John Chestnut Whitaker. John Chestnut Whitaker was the first black West Point cadet from South Carolina appointed in 1876.
The Sally Family Cemetery is located on the corner of Sally and Fletcher Streets on land that is believed to be the original land grant to Henry Sally in 1735. Today, the cemetery is surrounded by a chain link fence. All that remains is a brick wall fence made mostly of the original handmade bricks that contains the graves. No burials have been made here since 1861. Notable people buried at the Sally Family Cemetery. John Sally served in the Cherokee War from 1759 to 1761. He was the captain of the militia during the Revolutionary War and a member of the Second Provincial Congress from 1775 to 1776. He was a member of the First General Assembly of South Carolina in 1776 and the earliest representative from Orangeburg District. George Elmore Sally was the son of John Sally. He was a captain in the State Militia War of 1812. He was the Orange Parish State House of Representatives from 1814 to 1816. He was in the state senate from 1820 to 1824. He was an educator and he was a commissioner. The First Baptist Church Cemetery is located on St. John Street behind the church and has 35 graves. Some graves were covered when Davis Hall was erected in 1926. The church was organized in 1850 and was dedicated on November 7, 1863. The church was used by General Sherman to house troops and horses in 1865. The longest serving pastor was George E. Davis, who served from 1908 to 1929. Notable people buried at the First Baptist Church Cemetery. Colonel David Schuler was a private of the War of 1812. He served in the South Carolina Militia and U.S. Army. He was a sheriff of Orangeburg from 1835 to 1839, state senator from the St. Matthews Parish, 1854 to 1858, and a member of the First Baptist Church, 1794 to 1872. Dr. Basil Manley Schuler was the son of Colonel David Schuler. He owned and operated a drugstore in Orangeburg and practiced medicine in Orangeburg from 1853 to 1871. The old Presbyterian Church Cemetery located on Doyle Street and across the street from the Orangeburg County Courthouse was established in 1835. The cemetery was at the rear of the old Orangeburg Presbyterian Church facing Russell Street. This church building was dismantled in 1950 and moved to its present location on Summers Avenue, leaving the cemetery behind. Notable people buried here. General Davis Flavel Jameson, a prominent South Carolina statesman, lawyer, soldier, and scholar. He was the president of the South Carolina Secession Convention and founder of the Citadel. He was in the State House of Representatives from 1836 to 1848. Judge Thomas Worth Glover, a leading Orangeburg citizen who represented Orange Parish in the State House of Representatives from 1822 to 1826 and 1828 to 1836. He served as Clerk of the House from 1836 to 1852. He was appointed judge and served from 1852 to 1868. He was the master of Orangeburg County, 1879 to 1884, the dean of South Carolina College in 1884. His home was used by General Sherman as his headquarters. Thomas Jameson Glover, eldest son of Thomas Worth Glover, was a lawyer he represented Orange Parish in the South Carolina House in 1860 until war broke out and he volunteered in the Edisto Rifles. He was elected captain in 1861. He attained the rank of colonel but died at the Second Battle of Manassas. Charles B. Glover, son of Sanders. He was a lawyer, 
a judge of probate, and sheriff. He was the chairman of the Church Cemetery Committee. Thomas Arders Elliott was a physician, philanthropist, and an organizer of the Presbyterian Church. He also organized the first fire company in Orangeburg in 1854. The old Episcopal Church Cemetery and its historical marker are located on Boulevard Street. The present-day Church of the Redeemer was begun when Catherine C. Palmer sold the land to the church for one dollar to establish the church and graveyard. The church was built and consecrated March 14, 1857. The building was moved and the cemetery left behind in 1895 to its present location on Russell Street. The facade of the old church was bricked over at the new location. Notable people buried here. James Ferdinand Islar, 1832-1912, was an attorney, captain of Edisto Rifles, district judge, 1865-1868, brigadier general in the South Carolina militia, 1877, and major general, 1882, a member of the South Carolina State Senate, President Pro Tempore 1884-1889, 1880-1890, Delegate to Democratic National Convention from South Carolina, 1884, Circuit Judge in South Carolina, 1889, U.S. Representative from South Carolina, 1st District, 1894-1895, also Mayor of Orangeburg, Trustee of South Carolina College, 1881-1890, organizer and president of Bank of Orangeburg, 1886-1907. Reverend Stiles Mellishamp was a former pastor of the church. William Saab Rowe was a prominent Orangeburg physician, practiced 1833-1862. Sunnyside Cemetery, another large cemetery, located on Summers Avenue, was organized April 13, 1886. Fifteen acres were purchased from Franz Brigman. The ownership was passed to the city of Orangeburg on October 27, 1938. The cemetery includes within its borders the Hebrew Cemetery and the Old Catholic Church Cemetery. The Hebrew Cemetery... The Hebrew Benevolent Society was among the organizers of Sunnyside Cemetery in 1886. It withdrew from the company and now operates its burial ground adjoining Sunnyside along the back of the cemetery. Notable people buried here are Theodore Cohn, was the president of the Hebrew Benevolent Society, was a founding member of the Edisto Bank. He owned and operated a successful mercantile business in 1867, and his prominent building on Russell Street still bears his name. The Holy Trinity Catholic Church Cemetery was formerly located behind the old Catholic Church on Amelia Street. The church began holding mass in the new school building and hall on Riverside Drive in 1967. Most of the graves behind the old church were moved in the 1960s to Sunnyside Cemetery, along with the beautiful statue of the Sacred Heart made of Carrere marble and imported from Italy. The monument was erected in the memory of the soldiers and dead of the Confederacy. It is prominently located in the back right side of the cemetery at the end of the drive, creating a lovely view. In 1995, the few remaining Catholic graves were moved to Sunnyside when the old Catholic church building was sold. It has been noted that Union soldiers, some colored, who had been interred in the old Catholic cemetery, were also moved in place near the statue. In 1997, Boy Scouts helped to mark tombstones for these graves. Notable people buried here. James William Stokes was a member of the South Carolina State Senate, 1890. The U.S. Representatives from South Carolina, 1895-96. 1896 to 1901, 7th District, 1895 to 96, 
1896 to 1901. 6th District, 1901. Defeated, 1894. Died in office, 1901. Samuel Dibble, 1837 to 1913. Democrat. Member of South Carolina State Legislature. U.S. Representative from South Carolina, 1881 to 1882, 1883 to 1891. Second District, 1881 to 1882. First District, 1883 to 1891. Edward Coke Mann, 1880 to 1931. U.S. Representative from South Carolina, 8th District, 1919 to 21. While returning from a hunting trip, was accidentally shot and killed near Roseville, Orangeburg County, South Carolina. The final cemetery of the tour is the oldest one. The Old Pioneer Cemetery, located on Waring Street, is the earliest cemetery in the city. The first church in Orangeburg was built approximately on the site of the A.S. Sally Archives building, located in front of the cemetery. The archives are owned and operated by the Orangeburg County Historical Society. The first church in Orangeburg was said to be built on the site of the archives. It was said to be built of logs and on a clay base. The Orangeburg Church, as it was known, was Swiss Reformed, as was its first pastor, Reverend Oric Gessendoner, probably buried here. His nephew, also named Oric, followed him as the second pastor when the older man died. The younger Gessendoner trained first as a Presbyterian minister and later went to England to train in the Church of England. After the Civil War, the Church of England morphed into the Episcopal Church. Graves located here are some of the oldest found in Orangeburg. Dixie Hall, which is located on the site of the Pioneer Cemetery, was built before the Civil War. It was the home of the first lending library in Orangeburg, founded by the Dixie Club of Orangeburg. It was once used by Captain James Islar for his law office. The building was acquired by the Orangeburg County Historical Society and moved to the present site in 1955. Notable people buried here. Frederick Fershner was a prominent dentist who practiced in Orangeburg in the 1850s. Sanders Glover, brother of Thomas Worth Glover, probate judge of Orangeburg 1820 to 1824 and 1843 to 1853, state representative 1824-1840, held numerous public offices, deeded the property for the town square. This concludes our tour of the city cemeteries of Orangeburg. Complete listing of those buried in these cemeteries can be found for sale at the Orangeburg County Historical Society in the A.S. Sally Archives on Amelia Street in Orangeburg or on their website at www.orangeburgh.org. We hope you enjoyed your tour. We have enjoyed presenting this information and hope it will be helpful to you in your journey to find your ancestors.